But let's look at that last stat. The Bulldogs came into this game with 30 sacks on the season. That's 15 times the number of sacks Elgin had coming into tonight's game. And well, they each have one tonight. These two schools first met back in 1913, and there are five ties between them. The competition between them, it's insane. Brian Burns, who's an English teacher at Geneva High School, has a sign hanging in his classroom that says, Frailty, thy name is Batavia. So naturally, Batavia's looking for revenge tonight. What is it like for you to coach this game? Um, an honor, simply an honor. Uh, I, I talk to the kids inside. I can't believe that I'm here. I can't believe that I'm coaching a group of boys, which my son's a classmate of, who I've known most of since they were, many since they were literally born. And uh, to be able to work and live in a community as great as Batavia, and uh, it's a, a dream job. I'm one of the luckiest men in the world. And it's no question to you, Geneva has a solid team this year. What is the toughest aspect of their team you have to overcome tonight? They're very, very balanced. Uh, but they have a quarterback that can run and escape, and they've got a receiver in Temple. What's your favorite thing about this Batavia-Geneva game? Uh, the atmosphere is just absolutely electric. And uh, I always say I love Batavia because without Batavia, we wouldn't have anything like this. Going into this game, Batavia has 35.0 sacks on this season. How are you going to protect your quarterback? She's... <laughs> Oh, sorry. Are they hurt? Is anybody hurt that uh, we can uh, that you know of? I don't know. We, we, we got to get rid of the ball quick. That's all. We got a tie game at the half, 14-14. Earlier this week, a few Bulldog alumni shared their favorite part about this Batavia Geneva, Geneva game with me. One of them was Vi Cava, who's here coaching on the sidelines tonight. He said his favorite part was beating Geneva twice as a player in 2006. Evan Zeddies said his favorite part was Coach Matt Holmes' pregame Geneva speech. Zeddy's also added that a one-win season is worthwhile as long as that win is against Geneva. It just goes to show you that that rivalry continues after graduation. I caught a great article in the Kane County Chronicle. It said that Peyton Pierin did a research project in third grade. He ended up getting an A on the project. The topic? Batavia-Geneva rivalry. How about that? He predicted that in 2014, Batavia would be playing Geneva for the conference title. Back to you guys. As long as he came up with the right score at the end of that prediction. <laughs> we'll find out tonight. Make it through tonight? I did. I'm okay. I wasn't trampled. I'm just shaking with it. And hey, guys, this win begs the question, what frailty? The Bulldogs <laughs> earned their fourth consecutive victory against Geneva and hand those Vikings their first loss of the season. The Blue Crew, the Vikings fan club, they're leaving pretty blue tonight. Hey, Batavia hosts Streamwood here next week. We will see you there. Our broadcast starts at 7. Good night from the sidelines.